Hello everyone, I'm Dan and I just want to take a couple of minutes to tell you a little bit about LandLab, which is a project on which I am one of the lead developers. So LandLab is an open source, fully tested, fully documented, extensible piece of scientific software designed to help users simulate the evolution of the Earth's surface. So exactly what I mean by that, I'll show you in a second in some examples, but under the hood, what LandLab actually is, is a gridding engine uh, where you can define how some property varies across the surface, typically maybe elevation, uh, and also describes the topology of that grid. Uh, and it's a set of components that actually do the heavy lifting of describing how uh, Earth surface processes work, so how water and sediment move around on the surface of the Earth in order to create piles of sediment and to create landscapes. Uh, just to give you a little bit of an example of uh, the kinds of things I'm talking about here, in the middle there you can see an example of a little synthetic landscape that I've made using LandLab. Those dimensions on that probably a few kilometres on either side of the box. To its right there you can see the little synthetic river network that will go along with the landscape that's ended up looking like that. On the far right side there you can see a different configuration of LandLab where now it's being used to simulate overland flow in a catchment and what you're looking at there is the depth of the water moving across the landscape at the time slot. And interestingly, uh, the left hand side here, you've got LandLab configured completely differently, running not now as a finite difference model, but actually as a cellular automata. And what you're looking at there is the evolution of a cliff in cross section with a little sediment fan forming at the bottom. So we think this is pretty cool because we are very much a toolkit to model how things are changing, to let people do their own modeling. And because we are interoperable, if people use LandLab to build their own models, they are also automatically interoperable. And I'd love to talk to some of you guys a little bit more about how that works and if you have any ideas for how we can make LandLab better. Thank you.